Praise the Lord. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. A very good morning to you and to your loved ones. We trust that you'll be blessed this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in and for inviting us into your homes this morning. Good morning, Church of God. It's so wonderful to be with you this morning. And we thank God for this beautiful and awesome morning. Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, this morning we're going to... Um, have some communion together, so I'd like to encourage you, we'd like to encourage you to um, get some communion uh, together. doesn't matter if you've got juice, use juice, even if it's water, it's fine. And get some bread as well, as we're going to break bread this morning and we're going to celebrate and partake of the Lord's table at the end of this morning's broadcast. And grab a cup of coffee or tea, grab your, your Bible, your pen and your notebook as we get ready for the word of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, let's just open up in a, a word of prayer this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord God, we just thank you this morning for, Lord God, this glorious day that you've blessed us with, oh God. This mm -hmm. is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it, Father. We thank you this morning, oh God, for your precious word. We thank you, Lord God, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from your mouth. And we thank you this morning that the people of God will be edified, that the people of God will be built up and nurtured, O oh God, by the precious word of God. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you this morning for your great love. We thank you, Lord, O oh God, for the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives this morning. Thank you that where two or more are gathered, there you are in their midst, Father. We acknowledge your presence here this morning. We acknowledge your presence in the homes of those connecting with us. Father, wherever they're connecting with us, in their workplaces, wherever they are, we know, O oh God, that Emmanuel, God, is with us. In Jesus' blessed name, Father, I pray that you'll bless, O oh Lord God, this time of fellowship that we have together with one another, O oh God. In Jesus' blessed name, we give you thanks and we give you the praise, the glory, and all the honor. It all belongs to you in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. It's truly a glorious morning this morning. It's a wonderful morning. And um, <clears throat> this morning, I want to share about the subject of love, Pastor Sharon. And I think it's so important, especially in the days that we are living in. Many people, um, you know, um, um, are, are trying to live the life of faith. And I want to share something very important um, with everybody this morning. That's what God has laid upon my heart as we go to Galatians chapter number 5, the fifth chapter of the book of Galatians. And I want to read verse number 6. Because what happens is we find that as people of God, we are called to live this life uh, of faith, by faith. And one of the things that can short-circuit your faith walk is actually your love walk. So very often, if, you're, if, you, if you find you are, you know, you're walking and you're working your faith, and you find that you're not really getting uh, the desired results, a good thing to check is to check your love, check your you know, check what what is the what is the temperature of your love? You know, you probably lost your love, as Jesus was speaking to John, uh, the apostle John, when he wrote the book of Revelations. We find that um, Jesus speaks to John in Revelation chapter two concerning the church at Ephesus who had lost their first love. So very often we can walk out of that love, and just by walking out, you know, and we find that. Just through that very act, our faith gets short-circuited and then we find we don't get the results mm -hmm. in our faith walk. Now Galatians 5 verse 26 says this, this, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything. So neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but faith working through love. So in other words, love 
as the starting point. Everything begins with love. Everything comes from love. Mm -hmm. In the book, in uh, the epistle of First John, chapter number four, verse eight, the Bible tells us that he who knows love knows God. He who knows love no. knows God. For God is love. So love is not. It's not. Um, as people would have you think or believe that love is an emotion or it is a feeling. It's got nothing to do with it. Love is a fruit of the Spirit. And, uh, you know, in uh, 1 John 4, we are told that God is love. So, when you're operating in love, you're actually operating in God Himself. Because it's God Himself who is love. So you're operating in the person of love. And that person is the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is the expression of God's love to humanity. He's the expression of God's love to you and I. When we look in the book of uh, Romans chapter number... Um, Romans chapter 5. I want to go there quickly. And I want to share something with you. Romans chapter 5. In verse number 8, the Bible says, But God demonstrates His own love towards us, in that whilst we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So God's love yeah. is, love demonstrates itself. Mm -hmm. And love, the, the beauty and the glory of it is that love doesn't wait for the perfect conditions. Mm -hmm. God didn't wait for us to meet the conditions. Yes. The love of God met the conditions on our behalf. The Bible says love covers a multitude of sins. In other words, love overlooks sin. Mm -hmm. So regardless of where we were in our fallen state, in our weaknesses, mm -hmm. in our infirmities, love, the love of God was still there and the love of God still reached out to us mm -hmm. to bring us to where God is. Yeah. So love doesn't wait for perfect conditions. God didn't wait for perfect conditions. In that whilst we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And that's the demonstration of God's love. And Christ is love. Christ is the love of God that has been revealed and has been given to us. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you may this morning uh, feel that, um, you know, do I really have love? Do I really know love? Well, friends, in the book of also, Romans chapter number 5 and verse number 5 says this. It says that the love of God has been shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. Mm. So, if that love has been shed abroad, it means that the love of God now resides within our hearts. Mm. So, in the walk that we have, in the life that we live now, it is, uh, we, are, we, are, we are living in God, living in Christ, in God. Hence, we are dwelling in the love of God. And as long as we are dwelling in the love of God, we allow, then we now function from a position of love. Mm -hmm. and, we, and from that position, we allow the love of God to flow through us and to flow through everybody. And, you know, that's why Paul identified with this, St. Paul identified with this, in um, 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse 14, he says, The love of Christ compels us. The love of Christ compels us. I love the message translation. The message says this, Christ's, Christ's love has moved me to such extremes. His love has the first and final word in everything we do. The love of Christ has the first and the final word in everything we do. You may find sometimes there are things that you just, you know, um, your, your natural self tells you, no, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, I shouldn't, no, I shouldn't really do anything about that particular individual. But the love of God compels you to reach out to that person. That, this is the love of God. The love of God is like a cord that draws people. It draws people, not to yourself, but draws them closer to God. And it's in, in operating that way that we find that faith begins to work. And we find that the supernatural begins to take place in our lives. It is something supernatural. 
I was just meditating on this this morning, Pastor Sharon. When Jesus said, he said, love your enemies. Why did Jesus say love your enemies? It's because love has the power to change any individual. Love has the power to change your enemies into friends. So your foes become your friends. And the problem with people today is that many people uh, feel that people should change first. Mm -hmm. Love doesn't wait for anybody to change. Love operates. Mm -hmm. And as love operates, people change. Circumstances change. Conditions change. Everything gets conditioned by yeah. love. And that is, friend, that is the secret to you living an overcoming life of faith in Christ Jesus is to, is to operate in the love of God. Let the love of God operate in you and let the love of God operate through you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So in other words, um, you know what I read to you now, Romans 5 verse 8. God demonstrates his own love towards us and that whilst we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. Is um, When you see the unclothed, what do you do about it? When you see the needy, what do you do about it? When you see the homeless, what do you do about it? We live in a society, and I believe it's very, uh, very much in line with what Jesus said in Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 24, where Jesus said, the love of many will grow cold. In Matthew 24, verse 12, let us go there, and we, you know, Jesus is coming, his, his return is so soon, and Yes, he is coming. That is that is a fact. That is a given. That is the truth. And in Matthew 24, I want to just read this for you. It's a beautiful scripture. Beautiful scripture. His disciples in verse 3 ask Jesus. They say, tell us when these things will be and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age. The disciples asking Jesus, and Jesus uh, gives them a breakdown, but I want to focus on verse number 12. And Jesus says, and because lawlessness will abound. And we're seeing that in our, in our, in our lives today. Lawlessness is abounding. Iniquity is, is abounding. Sin has become the norm. Sin has become a, the way of life. But the wages of sin is death. That's the, that's the word of God. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Hallelujah. He says, lawlessness will abound. The love of many will grow cold. When love grows cold, you find people become critical. People become offended. Yeah. And you find that um, in growing cold, things that God requires you to do, all of a sudden people, people want to now argue. I mean, we see it, um, you know, people now argue. Is it, is it right to give unto the Lord? You don't argue about it. It's the word of God. It's part of your worship. That is love. That is expression of our love, our gratitude to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It says the love of many grow cold. People, when people see um, a beggar on the side of the road, they just turn an eye. They become like the Pharisee and the scribe when the man was robbed. And left to die on the side. They cross the other side. And they continue walking in their religion. But when you have love and encounter with love. The person of love. You become that Samaritan. Mm -hmm. Where you can pick up the man that was wounded. And you can bind up his wounds. And you can care for him. And you can nurture him. That's what love does. Love sees the impossible. Um, I want to I wanna encourage you, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. The Bible says love is the greatest gift. And you find when the Bible describes love, what love truly is. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is pure. Hallelujah. Love is not self-seeking. Love doesn't seek its own. Love is, love is free. Hallelujah. And that's what love is about, I believe, Pastor Sharon, is that love is about putting God first. Number one, love puts God first. And then number two, God put, uh, love puts others first. So it's God first 
and then others first, and then yourself. You know that? Because in the Bible, there are, we find now, I just shared with you about the love of God, shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. That's Romans 5, verse number 5. Then we find in um, the book of 2 Timothy 3, verse 2, the Bible speaks, let's just go there, I just, I just feel I need to read this. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, and I want to just go from verse 1 through to verse 2, because it's very apt for what I just read now in Matthew's Gospel. The Spirit of the Lord speaking to Timothy now, um, through the Apostle Paul, he says, But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, Without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Mm. And that's the day and age we're living in now is where people, the, the love of self and the love of money has taken over the love of God. The love of God is no longer there because of pride and because of the love of self. But we are encouraged to walk in love. The Bible encourages us to walk in love. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's Ephesians 5 verse 1 and 2. Paul says to the church in Ephesus, Therefore be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. Christ offered himself for us. And that is how much he loved us. And Christ now, we see that that was an offering of himself. The thing is, we, as we operate in love, we offer ourselves up to God on behalf of somebody else. That's what love is about. Putting God first. Putting others first. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I trust this morning that you've been blessed by this word. I trust that you've been encouraged by this word. And really, um, I just want to encourage you to share the love of God with somebody. Share the love of God with somebody that's sitting next to you this morning. Tell them God loves you. Share the love of God with somebody you meet yeah. on the street. Tell them God loves you. You know, many people don't know that, that God loves them. Let them see how much God loves them through you and through I. Through us, mm. the world will know that God is a God of love. That mm. God loves the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. That whosoever should believe in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Mm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, Pastor Sharon, yeah. I... Um, I think I'll hand over to you as I believe that you've also got something that you'd like to share with the viewers this morning. Amen. 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 Praise God. That was a good word, Pastor. Amen. Because Praise God. <clears throat> what, would we, what would we have done without Jesus? I mean, mm. He is such a good God. He is the King Amen. of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is Almighty God Supreme. Amen. Hallelujah. In fact, this wouldn't be possible without the God we serve. He's Amen. a great God. Jesus. He's a wonderful God. Amen. I think we shouldn't rob ourselves. That's why the whole teaching of love is not to rob ourselves mm -hmm. and, and keep in things that render us void of that love of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Because that love, without that love, we cannot receive. Amen. Without forgiveness, we cannot receive. Yeah. Sometimes we're wondering why we're not receiving in life mm -hmm. or why, why there is a block in your prayer. Yeah. But it's because... God is love. He wants us complete in love. In love. Amen. You know, that's why I think in the book of Mark, if we read Mark chapter, I think it's chapter 12, verse 28, and one, it reads there, And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the, which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, 
the first of all commandment is hear o israel the lord our god is one Amen. lord there is one Father, Son, and the Holy Amen. Spirit. He is yeah. a God that is a God of completion. Mm. In Him, there is everything that we need. Amen. And when we have Him, you can love everyone. Amen. That's how God wants us to love everyone. Hallelujah. And some. And let me just go on here. And thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength, which is the first commandment. Mm. Amen. And rightly so. When asked what is the greatest commandment, God mm. said that is the greatest commandment. That's it right. is the greatest commandment to love our Lord, our God, with all our hearts mm. and to love our neighbor as ourselves. That's, that, that's right, yeah. Why would God say that is the greatest commandment? Why? It is the greatest commandment in this time. We read perilous times have come because why? Because man has just started to love himself more than God. Yeah, all these right. things have come upon this earth mm. because we start to love ourselves more than God. Right. We start to love the things of this world. Mm. We start to love our money. We start to love all these things that we are going to leave. And, right. and you don't want to be one of them that's going to turn around mm. Mm. and look back. Then remember Lord's wife, that's she was right. turning yeah, to her. You right. cannot look at these. Earth. They are here for now. <coughs> but right. they are just here for now. Yes. They must not hinder your prayer life. Or your walk with God because tomorrow you can be rendered with nothing in, in front right. of you are you yeah. gonna worship God Amen. are you still gonna walk with God because he provides our needs mm. it's when we can love him and walk with him that he gives us everything we need for Amen. this life mm. just for Amen. this life Hallelujah. maybe you want more you can ask God when you serve God you can worship him and give him your all and he will give you your needs amen that's right hallelujah amen. and for the thing I would uh, the scripture I would also like to share is from John chapter 4 uh, where is it? John chapter 4 it's about uh, yes John chapter 4 here we have a, a I'm sure you all read it's about the woman at the well but I'm just reading from John chapter 4 verse 4 and he and he must needs go through Samaria and that's Jesus he must needs go that's what the word says here needs go because there was a need there there was a void of something there that God knew he must go there that's right it wasn't the place where Jesus usually went mm. because we read here and it says then cometh he to a city of Samaria which is called Sacha near to the parcel of ground near that Jacob gave to his son J uh, Joseph now mm -hmm. Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey sat thus on the well and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me to drink. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Then the woman of Samaria, uh, then said the woman of, uh, of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask me which is a woman of Samaria? Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. She didn't think she was that important. She didn't think because mm. there, there was a, this thing where, um, you know, there was a, a separation. They wouldn't, Jesus' disciples usually wouldn't go there. Mm. So now Jesus knew there was a need there. Amen. And she, it's just like what pastor said, sometimes we avoid the, the person on the street. Or, you know, you just think that person's not important. Mm. But with God, he's, every human being is so important Amen. to him. That's that is right. why the greatest is love. That's he gave right. himself to us. Yes. He died for us. Amen. That is why again it comes back to love. The That's greatest right. commandment. Hallelujah. And God then, God. yes, God saw a need there. If we go on there, I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't read everything. But uh, Jesus asked her for water. Jesus answered and said, If thou knowest that the gift of God and who it is that say to thee, Give me to drink, mm. thou wouldst have me. But that would have asked me and he would have given thee living water. Hallelujah. That's the love Amen. of our God. It's living That's water. Right. It flows yes. from your belly. Amen. And you know that love. That mm. love that mm. just makes you, propels Hallelujah. you to do things you wouldn't. Uh, you know, the, you, you wonder to, was that me? That met that man on the road. And, and the, that man that guards our car. And sometimes you have, right. a, you have more than a two rand. You have more than a five rand. Yeah. But you could give that ten rand. That's right, but and now you withhold. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the love that Jesus love has. Doesn't and what withhold. about the times that we mm. haggle? Somebody is selling you a broom for 15 rand and you want it for 10 rand. But what if that man had to haggle and tell you, no, give me for 20 rand? Mm. But you know, we're supposed to give what is due. Sometimes right. I think Render we bargain to, Caesar, to yes, yes, to Caesar. just go yes. in love. That person also needs that money. He yeah. has a home. That's he right. needs a, a loaf of bread. That's Sometimes right. I think we just... 
we we gone so stingy. Yeah, if you could use that word, we're holding mm. back that love that we could give to yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm. just that extra five and what would it make you any richer mm. than to give that full price? Yeah. Pay what is due. Amen. Sometimes you, you you render a service, you expect the mm. same thing. You expect a full price. That's right. Amen. 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 And uh, mm. but uh, if we read on, Jesus said he would give her living water. That water would complete her. Amen. Now why why I would like to read that is if we if I would skip a few verses. Let's go to verse 14. But whoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Mm. But that water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up to everlasting Amen. life. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, wow, there's something more God. than this life. Yes. It is an everlasting life. Hallelujah. Amen. Just remember that it's just not this life, but it's an everlasting life. Mm. I'm sorry about this, but it's the Holy Spirit. He wants us to remember there's something more than this life. This life is not all, Pastor. Yes. There is much there's more. There's a greater life that waits. Yeah. Yes, there's much more than the life mm. that we see. Amen. The woman Praise said, God. <clears throat> sorry about that. But you know, it's so touching. You cannot control the Holy Spirit when He mm. speaks. Yeah. And the woman said unto Him, Sir, give me this water. This is Jesus. When He gives you that water, you will thirst no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if you read on, Jesus said unto her, Go. Call thy husband and come hither. Now look what the woman says. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Sorry. <clears throat> Jesus says to her, Thou hast said, well, I have no husband. Francis, she had a void. She had more. She, God saw that, no, she doesn't have one husband, but she had five others. And the one, because if you read here, and thou hast five husbands, and he whom thou hast now is not thy husband. Mm. In that saidest thou truly. Yeah. Because even the last person that she had couldn't give her that peace. He couldn't give her that joy, that no fulfillment. Man no you. man can complete you. Mm. Remember mm. this God we serve is a jealous God. You put him first and mm. you will never fail in That's this journey. Right. Yeah. Because you can, lose, you can lose loved ones. But when you got Jesus, you're like a rock. Yeah. You're like a pillar. Amen. God will see you through everything in life. There's, we've got families. We've got parents. One day we're going to lose loved ones. Mm. But when you've got Jesus, you're so complete. He completes you. And let me tell you, yeah. losing loved ones is not easy. It's not easy. It is the hardest thing to, to go through. Mm. You only know it when you go through it. That's right. You only feel it when you... I know how it feels. Sometimes I've been in situations where I cried for people I didn't even know. Mm. Because it's it's people it's are love. so precious. That's yes, love. that's love. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes, but uh, this, amen. you know, I didn't really think this will be so, uh, you know, guided by the Holy Spirit. That mm. you know that I have to share this. But I, what I would like to say is that uh, Jesus even knew that she had a void in her. That's why he said, I think if you read here, God said he must needs go to Samaria. There was a need there. Mm. There was a void, an emptiness, mm. a void, a need for love. Yes, that love, that love was, nobody could give her. Yeah. But the love, that's why Jesus said, the water Amen. I give you, you will never thirst, thirst anymore. Why yeah. would he say that? Amen. Because that water that we get from Jesus, yeah. it fills us completely. Amen. You, you, you know, you can go through lives, difficulties and things that's still going to come in yeah. life. Yeah. But you will have something in you. You will yes. have something that will flow and take away that, that you know, the yeah. sadness, the, the shame, the guilt. The rejection, the loneliness, the, the you know, the, the unforgiveness, the bitterness. You won't feel like you always need to hate someone. Jesus, yes. Like, you know, who you're going to hate next? Who you're going to hurt next? Who you're going to be bitter about? Who you're going to scandal about? No, when you got Jesus, something Amen. changes in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. What a wonderful God we serve. Hallelujah. And, brothers and sisters, just let's, let me go on here. Jesus says in verse 21, Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when you shall neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. Mm. Worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. 
we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews hallelujah salvation mm. is for everyone no hallelujah but the hour cometh and now it is hallelujah. and now it is more than ever pastor yeah. it's more than ever when true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit Spirit's and in truth, truth. Yes. not just in your flesh or in your emotions but in spirit and, and in truth yes, amen. you're not going to deviate from what is right That's your right. yes will be yes and your no, no will be no, no. hallelujah yes. nothing further than amen. that praise God for the father seek such to worship mm. him God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth Amen. this is the final hour we are serving God in the final hour let's not mm. slacken let's not slacken let's yeah. move let's do everything we can in our you know in our love for God let's go to mm. church let's worship. maybe we cannot go now but I mean there has a time when we, we could, could have went but some of us never yeah. Let us pray. We Let can us, have church this yes. way. I mean, we can pick up a phone and pray with somebody. Um, there are people that somebody. do that. They, yes. They, they, you know? yes, pick up people. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, you cannot visit somebody, but you can encourage someone. You yeah. can phone someone and you can uh, uplift someone. someone in your prayer. That's they right. don't need yes. to know that you've been praying yeah, for them. That's right. Yes. They will phone you and tell you they wonder why. And you'll know that you've been praying for them. Because we... God is the one that answers the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's Amen. a great God. All he needs is mm. someone to, to tap into, to call mm. forth, to bring that person to the throne yes. of grace. Hallelujah. Because we serve a God of grace mm. and so much love. Amen. Really, this, this is something so I awesome. Love, love, the God that mm, we serve. I love what you shared now. God is spirit and the Father seeketh such to worship him. I believe, just as you shared now, Pastor Sharon, I believe God is looking for people that will stand in the gap and pray. Mm -hmm. On behalf of humanity, God is looking for people yeah. that will stand in the gap and love when everybody mm -hmm. is hating. There are people that are loving. God is looking for people that instead of tearing down lives Build and up. tearing apart yes, lives, building but up. building people up. Amen. I mean, that's in our words. Yeah. I mean, very often people just use words loosely. Mm -hmm. They use their mouths mm -hmm. loosely and say all sorts of stuff about people. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether the person has wronged you. No. You've got, I mean, God has said that our mouths yeah. have been given to us to bless and not curse. Yes. So we shouldn't be ripping people you see apart in our the, words, but building them up. Amen, because you can, yeah. in your capacity, you may have been pushed away by someone. Mm. And uh, But the thing is, when you stand before God, you need to stand upright before God. That's right. You need to stand, stand blameless. So what you can do is forgive that person in your heart. That's right. Forgive, Pray for yeah. that person. Mm. You don't have to bow down or kneel to that person. Mm. But at least you know in your heart you forgave that you person. bow before God. Bring you them bow. before the Lord. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. right. Pray you may never them. have a chance to speak mm. to that person again. Amen. But what mm. it is to have a free heart, to have a free load. Mm. Not Amen. walking around with a heavy load. A whole day you 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 worried about this person. How you're gonna hate this person? Well, you cannot. You're cutting off the blessing That's of right. that day. Yeah. Maybe yeah. there's so much That's blessing right. in that day. Yeah. Maybe there's so much. Mm. You never know what would be your last word, your last WhatsApp, mm. your message, your last Facebook message. Mm. It must never mm. be. Mm. To hurt someone That's it must right. always be to love someone yeah. and to appreciate someone because mm. this is the last hour Amen. and god forgives us so Amen. god is a god who forgives today he's a god that's forgiving us as even forgive, me myself yeah, that's as, right you know god is forgiving us mm. wherever we failed him he never fails he's a god that loves us unconditionally and he wants mm. to forgive us today amen amen unconditional amen. love i believe god is calling us yes. to unforgive unconditional love yeah. and unconditional forgiveness amen because remember jesus also says he says that uh, if you do not forget your brother uh, uh, sorry if you do not forgive, forgive your brother, brother neither will your father in heaven forgive, forgive you. you so that means that forgiveness begins with you mm. that's why me, so yeah. in other words love too mm -hmm. you have got to love regardless and you've got to forgive so you do it first. You you take that first step and God does the rest. Mm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Wow. Like Hallelujah. we read, love covers a multitude of yeah. sins. Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, praise God. We trust that um, you've been blessed this morning. As we certainly blessed. were blessed. <laughs> and uh, we just want to encourage you to, you know, just really go on in yeah. love. Because when you love God, I believe, mm. Pastor Sharon, uh, you find many people, if you speak to them, you ask them about their day or you ask them about their, mm. uh, you know, about their life and how things are. People normally don't have good things to say. Mm. And I believe it all begins with love. Mm. You know, when you, when you love God, 
Yeah. You love God's people. You love men whom God has yeah. created. When you can love people, you then certainly can forgive. You find you start loving your life. Yes, you love your life. Yeah. You'll never have that void yeah. of looking like this woman. She had many. She had many husbands, and the last one she lived with was not even a husband. She didn't. She, she yeah, could never right. find the that one that could fulfill her. Contentment. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah, because. There was this void. That's Praise why God. Jesus came to give her the living Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. God. We serve a great God. God. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. And you know, our, our, my, my heart's desire is that everybody should have the living water flowing. Amen. That's a water you'd That's never, right. you'd never thirst again and you'd never go hungry Amen. again. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there's something that you'll be so full with. You can, you can live your life rejoicing. Mm. You can live your life feeling so full and complete. Yeah, there yeah. must never be a point where That's you sit right. and feel I wonder now, I've got so much and so much health and so much wealth, but I'm feeling mm. empty. That's right. There is something that you can it's still miss is the love of Jesus. That's right. It's coming to, to worship this God Amen. that gave himself for us. Praise we God. need to give ourselves to him. Amen. The, we God. must never... That's why in the book of Hebrews it says, how can we neglect so great a salvation? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. There is the self the Holy Spirit is still here. He's convicting us. He wants us to come to him. It's a it's a time that we should never close our our hearts. We should open our hearts to receive what a great God we serve. Yeah, as you receive God, to you receive, receive him, his love. You receive his and love. You receive and you receive his, his you receive That's right. good health. Amen. You receive strength. Your yeah. youth is renewed. There's so much blessings Amen. in the word of God. Amen. You the Praise and not the tail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Amen. You have the faith of the Son of Amen. God who raised you from the dead. Praise you God. seated in heavenly Hallelujah. places. Amen. How there's so much blessings Amen. in this love of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Amen. Pastor Sharon, for that awesome word. Amen. We want to encourage you right now. Amen. We're going to partake of the Lord's table and celebrate the love of God every time we have an opportunity to partake at the Lord's table. It is an opportunity for us to celebrate the love of God and most importantly to also reflect upon God's great mm -hmm. love. You could be watching us this morning, you probably don't love yourself, you don't love mm -hmm. you know, your life, you don't love how things have turned out in your life. But you know what, as we look at the table of the Lord, this is where God reveals to you and shows you how much He loved you. He loved you so much mm -hmm. that He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, Amen. to die for you. Yes. He sent Him in your place. Amen. And as we are sharing about love, mm -hmm. and Pastor Sharon shared about loving your neighbor mm -hmm. as yourself. And when you walk in the love of God, I believe you don't seek to serve. And that is the problem with people today. Mm -hmm. People seek to be served. Mm -hmm. And they forget that Jesus did not come to be served, but came to serve. serve. Amen. So we are to serve and not be served. That is what it's all about. You know, how can you be of service to somebody else? That's what love is about. And this is what Christ has done. He came to serve and not be served. He came to save us. He came to save you. He came to save me. Mm -hmm. He came to save everybody. And praise Amen. God. We thank God. For the See, table of the Lord. There is so much power in the table of the Lord. Amen. We mustn't forget what Jesus said. Yeah. Do this in remembrance of me. Mm. That is why many are weak and ill and have fallen asleep early. That's because right. we, we neglect really understanding why mm. we do this in remembrance of him. That's we right. won't be sick. We won't die early. Amen. We, we, we just are misled into really understanding this the power, life, the power of the life. God. His, yeah. his body was broken for us. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. There is Praise so much God. power in that body. Yeah. He, he, by His stripes we are healed. healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, praise God. Let us now get ready as we partake at the Lord's table. And I think, let me read from the book of Corinthians. Um, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father, for your precious Son, Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and from verse 23, the Apostle Paul writes to the church at Corinth, and he writes to us today, and he says to us, For I receive from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which mm -hmm. he was betrayed, he took bread. Amen. The Bible says he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. He broke the bread and said, Take, mm. 
eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. For as often as you eat this bread mm -hmm. and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Do you recognize what you are partaking of? But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. You, be, you are one with his body. He, it, is, it is like a marriage, you know, uh, with a husband and wife, bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. We are one body with him. For this reason, he goes on to say, for this reason, many are weak and sick among you and many sleep. Many are weak and sick among you and many sleep. sleep. So that's the thing, the body of Jesus. Hallelujah. What, what medical science cannot do. And yes. what pharmaceutical companies cannot do, the blood of Jesus certainly can do can that. Do. Certainly, most certainly. certainly, the blood of Jesus can. Oh, Hallelujah. Sure. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus is the answer. The blood of Jesus is the cure. Praise God. So this morning, let us just, um, let us just pray. Father, we thank you this morning for this opportunity, O oh God, to partake of your body and to partake of the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, O oh God, we thank you this morning that the bread that we bless and break, it becomes for us, O oh Lord God, the very body of your Son, Jesus Christ. And the cup of drink that we bless and drink, it becomes for us, Lord God, the very blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. I thank you that because of the blood we have received remission, because of the blood we have received salvation, because of the blood we have received deliverance and healing in the name of Jesus, because of the blood, O oh Lord God, we have eternal life in Jesus' name. Father, we give you thanks and we praise. give you praise and we give you the glory and all of the honor and the worship, O oh God, for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for this this morning. In your blessed name we pray and God's people said, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, praise God. The body of Christ, Pastor Sharon. Amen. Let us partake of his body. Thank you, Jesus. You said, unless we eat the flesh, of the Son of Man and drink His blood, we have no life. So thank you this morning for eternal life. Amen. Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, let us release... Let us, I'm going to ask Pastor Sharon to close in prayer and, um, and then I'll do the benediction mm -hmm. as we close. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a great and a mighty God. Yes, you are so awesome, Lord Jesus. Oh, oh Lord, I bless your holy name. Thank we you, thank Father. you, Father, Lord Jesus, that we could share your love and your goodness, oh Father. Mm, oh God, oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus, oh God. Mm. Is someone out there, Lord Jesus, that has a need and a void today? God bless that person, yes, oh God, that he can, or she love. can be filled with the living waters, oh God, that they will God. never thirst or Hallelujah. hunger no more, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. There's someone that's sitting Hallelujah. down there, Lord, not even knowing why, Lord Jesus, oh Father, they feel this heaviness, this sadness, Lord. They cannot even move. They don't feel like doing chores anymore. Maybe you don't even feel like, you know, living anymore. You don't feel like you're good enough. You don't feel like you look good enough. You don't feel like, you know, all the 
education you have, nothing makes you happy. But we thank God. You may have none of these, but you're so special in God's eyes. You are so one. Oh, you are so. You made so wonderfully and beautifully in God's eyes. When you look in the mirror, you need to see Jesus in you. Because when we look in the mirror, we shouldn't see the, the nose we have or the, the teeth we have or the face we have. But we should see something. We should see a love radiating. We should see this person that loves the, 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 you know, just being yourself because you have Jesus in you. When you have Jesus in you, it don't matter who loves you because you just have a love, a love, a love, a love that radiates. That living water will flow out of your soul. You will see beauty. You will see the wonders that God has made in this earth for you. Hallelujah. You will be so blessed and you're going in and you're going out. You will never, never, never look back. And you will never look for love because you found it in the word of God. In in these pages will you find the word of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Because Thank he completes you, you. He will give you victory. Mm. He will give you deliverance, overcoming power. You, Hallelujah. Yes, you Lord. won't look to those bad habits anymore. Hallelujah. You won't look to those things that you don't need Jesus. to look at. Hallelujah. You will be Wonderful freed from guilt and shame. You will be freed from something that you have. Maybe you cannot be delivered from, but you secretly have a hindrance, but God can set you free. Hallelujah. And when God sets you free, your life will never never be Thank the same you, again you will move from victory to victory mm -hmm. you will move from power to power you will be and blessed in everything glory. you do hallelujah, hallelujah. you will have a, a, a joy mm -hmm. that is you know unexplainable mm -hmm. no one will understand why you're so happy Jesus. why you're so content why you so Jesus. you know you can you can just radiate this 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 joy this it's a sweet smelling aroma that you, that God will will irradiate from you. Hallelujah. Thank you, we thank Jesus. you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, bless this person. Bless anyone that's watching today that doesn't yes, feel Lord. complete. Oh God, complete touch them, Lord. Lord Jesus. Touch the sick heal and them, heal them. Oh God, God. The from the crown of, of their head to the sole of their feet. I pray that they will be strengthened. Yes, that they will feel the victorious. They will Jesus. feel like they have power. Yes, they will Lord. wonder why Hallelujah. they can take on anything. Oh Father. Yes, oh God. Oh Lord, and there's no tiredness in their body, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, oh Father. Bless our children, oh God. Bless our elderly, Lord Jesus. Bless the sick, Lord. I pray that they will rise up of their bed and walk. In they the will pick up their beds, Lord Jesus, oh Father. And Lord Jesus, they will move in the name of Jesus. Now. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Father, for the power that we have in a Hallelujah, living God. Jesus. In that name, there is so much power in the oh, name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you, oh God. And we pray, Father, that you will bless each and every one that is watching right now. Be blessed, brothers and sisters. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 We love you. Well, praise God. God, amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Sharon. I believe that there's somebody watching us right now. You feel as though you've lost all hope. And um, God right now is touching you. And you just feel that warm sensation. That is the love of God. That's the warmth of God's love that is touching you. There's hope for that hopeless situation. There's hope for your family. There's hope for your children, there's hope for your marriage, there's hope for your job, there's hope for your business. God, this is God's word to you is there is hope. Mm -hmm. There is hope. There is hope. It doesn't matter what your carnal or natural eyes mm -hmm. are seeing. It doesn't matter what you're hearing with your ears. God did not call you to go by your senses, but God has called you to go by faith. Mm -hmm. You're a person of faith. Mm -hmm. And God right now, as you feel his love, as you feel that power that is touching you right now, walk in the light of His love. Walk in the light of the truth of His word. For God sets you free now in the name of Jesus. All those feelings of anxiety, of fear, of doubt, of despair are leaving you now. All discouragement is leaving you now in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. When I'm saying rise up and walk, I'm speaking to that person that has lost all hope. And you, you, you've, like, you've, you've basically um, cut yourself off from everything around you and you keeping yourself in a shell and you think that it is the end. It is not the end. It's only just the beginning. And I believe God has got a glorious story with your life. And I believe God is raising you up in Amen. this very, very hour, in this very, very moment. 
things are about to change for you. So God says there is hope for you. Praise God. Well, stretch your hands towards the screen as I release the final blessing. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you and your loved ones, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord cause His face to shine upon Amen. you. And may the Lord grant you sweatless victories yes. this week in Amen. Jesus' blessed name. Until next time, this is Pastor Amen. Ricardo and Pastor Sharon saying we love you very much and we pray for you often. Please send us your prayer requests. Share with us what um, the Lord is doing with you as well. We love to hear your praise reports as well of what God is doing in Amen. your lives. Connect with us. The details are appearing on the screen right now. Praise God. Until next time, God bless you. Keep walking by faith and we love you very much. Goodbye Amen. and God bless. Amen.